Viagra is now available in tea bags. It doesn't enhance your sexual performance, but it stops your biscuit from going soft. <laughs> Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Right, so a lot of people have been asking about what's the best player to use when using apps for streaming and different just viewing content in general. I haven't done a video on this for a hell of a long time, so today we're going to show you how to install MX Player or MX Player Pro. And it has actually got some pretty cool features as well. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right then, so MX Player or MX Player Pro, you simply go into settings inside, say, a movie app, set your external player or default player to MX Player, and then what it does, it plays that content through that player, and it really should improve your view... Your view... <laughs> and it really should improve your viewing experience. In some cases, it can even cure buffering. And this is purely due to the built-in players, Android players, they're not being as good as MX Player or VLC Player and things like that. Right, so first of all, we're going to show you how you can install it, where you can install it from. And then we're going to open it and show you a few of the features you can use. One being subtitles, another being volume booster. There's a few different ones that may come in handy for you. Right, so as you can see, I'm on the 4K Fire Stick, but this is going to work the same for any device. The only difference is inside a Fire Stick or Fire TV, we're going to be using Downloader. But if you're using an Android box, Android phone, anything like that, you just use your normal web browser. So for Fire Stick users, first of all, what you're going to want to do is go across to settings at the top, go down and all the way across to My Fire TV, it may say device for you. But I don't know why I'm showing you this, because I'm guessing if you're getting MX Player, you've already got apps installed, so I'll do it pretty fast. So once you've clicked on My Fire TV or device, developer options to make sure that apps from unknown sources is turned on. Very important. Go all the way back home, top left hand corner, you're going to type in DAO. Or you can type in Downloader if you want, it just takes a hell of a long time. Hey, that sounded weird then when I said time, didn't it? I sounded like a bit of a pervert. Time. <laughs> so we'll go down underneath, you see it says Downloader, we'll click on that. And then as you can see there, you're going to download and install that. If it doesn't download and install, it's because you've got no bank details set up to your Amazon account. Although it is free to install, they do require have those details on there to be able to use the store. <sighs> Get your breath. Right, so now we're good to go. And as I said, Amazon users, we are going to use Downloader. Any other device, you're going to be using your normal web browser. Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Firefox, anything like that. Right, so I was going to my applications by going to Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications. And then you're going to see you've got Downloader. We're going to launch the application in one very, very important step, which people don't realise is you've got to allow the permissions. If you don't allow the permissions in Downloader, it won't allow it to download onto your device. So we're going to click on Allow. We're going to click on OK. We'll go across to the left-hand side where it says Settings and make sure you've got a tick next to the JavaScript. So make sure it's enabled. We'll go back home. And now you're going to type in this URL exact as I type it. Right, so as you can see there, let's crack on .org forward slash downloads. You may have to pause the video just while you type it in, but that's the URL you're going to want to type in. You can type in let's crack on .org, but people have been having problems opening the hamburger menu. So we're going to click on go, get a couple of moments just to load up the web page. And then once that's loaded up, we're going to scroll down and it's going to say media players. There you go. And as you can see, you've got two different versions. So you've got MX Player and you've got MX Player Pro. There's not much of a difference. We have done a post on this. I will leave a link in the description down below. But all I'm going to say is the difference is MX Player Pro has adverts removed. But yet the normal MX Player now is always modded anyway. So the ads are normally removed. But we're going to install MX Player Pro. So we simply click on that. We're going to scroll down until we find the download button. Click on that bad boy, get a couple of moments and it's going to take you through to a web page. Simply, we're going to wait a few seconds for this to install so you can see the countdown begins and then we're going to wait a couple of seconds. And then you're going to see it's going to start downloading automatically. So, there we go, there we go, we like out like that, we can sit back. Taking as surroundings and then wait for it to start installing. <laughs> right, so now we're going to go across to install. Like I said, if you're not using an Amazon device or Fire Stick Fire TV, the steps are practically the same when using any other device using a normal web browser. 
Right, so now we're going to click on done. Very important step is to delete the file. So if you do forget to delete the file and click on done, we'll scroll all the way over to favorites. No, we won't because we'll click on files. <laughs> and you're going to see all your download files are in here. These are no longer needed. These are only needed for installations. So as you can see, MX Player Pro, the download file is 15.2 megabyte. So what we want to do is long hold the enter button and click on delete and get rid of all of those that are not needed no more. One other thing you can do as well is while you're on let's crack on dog forward slash downloads, the top right hand corner you see the hamburger menu. You can set the current page to favorites, so add it to your favorites, click on save. And when we go all the way across the left hand side again, we can now click on favorites and every time you launch the app, you simply go to favorites and it'll launch that web page. I don't know what I've just said. I meant to say launch that web page. <laughs> but as you can see, if we scroll down to M, you can see you've got MX Player Pro. So now we're going to link it up, just start watching a bit of content on it. I may have to blur a little bit as well. And then I'm going to show you a couple of the different features you can get inside it. Right then, so inside whatever application you're wanting to use MX Player with, you can use it with your original content as well, your original media inside your device. So if you've got normal videos on your mobile phone and things like that, you can use it for that as well. But you see it says choose a default player. It's, you'll find this in the majority of different applications. We click on that and then you can see it says MX Player and that is now set as our main external player. Right, so one thing to note is when you first launch MX Player, make sure you allow the permissions. It's got to have access to your storage and things to be able to play any content. So do make sure you allow those permissions. Right, so now we're inside a movie. I will have to pause it so I don't get into trouble. But one of the things you can do is simply click up and down on your remote to change the volume. So when that goes off, you can go up and down. It changes the volume for MX Player. I've just spat all over. I do apologize. Another thing is in the top right hand corner, you can see a three dot button. I don't know the special name for this, so I'm going to start calling it a three dot button. <laughs> so when we click on that, you're going to see it brings up a few different things. But what I will do, I'll cover this more in depth in another video because I want to start making videos more relevant to people. If I start including everything in one video, it's hard for people to see what the video is actually about. But as you can see, you've got your display, your audio, your subtitles, your tools. And then simply what you can do is click in your display. You can video zoom. You can change the aspect ratio. You can even click into the settings. And as you can see, you've got style screen controls, navigation. And then a great one for me is if you go to tools and then you go to settings. There you go. You've got your audio and you've got loads of different options here. You've got your volume boost. You've got your audio delay, so if the lip syncs out, you can change that. You've also got a subtitle option, so you can drag your subtitles or download them into there to play the subtitles for that content you're watching. And then also, you're going to see a HW button there. These are the different decoders. A lot of the time, apps usually come with the SW decoder set as default. And a lot do recommend that you set the HW decoder as default. I don't know what default means, but default will do. <laughs> but if you are experiencing any kind of buffering or things like that, you can try changing those as well. So yeah, like I say, I will do a video more into depth of how to load subtitles, how to load, get the lip sync back. So yeah, like I say, I will do a more in-depth tutorial on MX Player, getting subtitles, setting the audio delay, how to use all the features more into depth. But this video is literally how to install MX Player or MX Player Pro onto your device. And as I said, this can be installed on any device. Simply go to let's crack on .org forward slash downloads and you're good to go. But do comment down below what you think of MX Player. Do you use it? Do you use a different player? Do you use VLC player, Woofy player, Yes player? There's loads out there, but in my opinion, MX Player is up there with one of the best. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and thank you for joining me today. I'm going, I'm going to go for my haircut because I think it's getting a bit long now and I'm starting to look a bit like a hobo. But that's just my opinion. <laughs> so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's underneath. Look, it'll say subscribe in a box. I'm not going to put one of those daft things on the bottom of the screen. I'm just going to say go down and click on that subscribe button and click the bell icon next to it so you get notifications to see this pretty face more often. <sighs> and I'll see you soon. <laughs> ta -da. Without you, I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. Familiar. Of your voice.
your voice as I